Hi my people, so today we are making Giveri. This is one of uh, Kikuyu cuisines. And so welcome to my channel, guys. So yeah, I have my beans ready and my maize pears kwapo tayari. I'm going to use my ndimbichi for this. I don't know how we call my ndimbichi in English. Yeah. But first, mm, I'm going to soak my beans because these beans are quite hard. So for me to use less energy while cooking, I'll have to leave it to soak for at least six hours. But if you have more time, you can leave it to soak for a whole day or a whole night. So just washing to make sure that there is no dust left. And I'm going to wash it twice and then pour another clean water to leave it with. So yeah, you can use any kind of beans that you have. It doesn't have to be nyayo. We have yellow beans, we have green beans, we have irimo, whichever you want to use in your gitero. So yeah, just leaving this to fura then I'll see after six hours. Six hours later. So guys, this is after six hours and as you can see, the beans have increased in size. So just pouring the water out and washing it for a second time. And then we just boiled. So me while boiling, I like using ginger and garlic. Whole pieces. I just boil it like that. So just mixing everything together. And leave it to fresh cook for at least 30 minutes. So since to look at our beans, we don't have to put a lot of water while boiling. We yeah, just have to put a little water just to cover the whole thing. And then leave it to boil. Yeah, this way you lose less energy, like I've told you before. But if you just boil directly without leaving it for at least some hours, you'll notice that you use a lot of gas, a lot of time, and yeah. If you have watched most of my videos, I know you've seen this kambao here and you've been wondering what's happening. Why? What's the essence of putting this kambao here? So this is what's happening. I'm using an external kitchen and it's an open surrounding as you can see. So, uh, most of the time when wind blows, it comes towards where the gas cooker is. So these mixers go out of gas really quick. So, I just will notice that if I put this kambao here, it blocks the wind from coming towards where the gas is. Yeah, that's how I became an inventor. <laughs> so after switching off the gas, I left it to cool at least 30 to 40 minutes. And now it's okay to open. And yeah, I'm very, I hope it's ready. See that. See that. Wow. Mm -hmm. You see, they are fully cooked, fully, fully cooked. They are chimney, 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 chimney. So, I are just doing some mission glass for this gathering, and yeah, peeling and cutting and ensuring everything is ready. Yeah, now it's time to wash and just to start our final process. So my gedere turned out to be a lot. So I'm just going to divide it into two. One I'm going to put in the freezer for later use and one I'm going to use today. I'm going to use the same same souvenir. I don't like washing utensils, so I don't want to be having a lot of souvenirs to wash. So the same same souvenir that I use is what I'm going to use. So just going to my kitchen garden to get some ham, which is oregano and coriander. So guys, one thing I'm not sure of, are these flowers really edible? Because I don't know, I don't know. But we're going to try them for the first time. So I'll cut everything that I'm going to need plus those flowers. <laughs> we are going to try them for the first time. I hope they don't have any effect. My green pepper, tomatoes, onions, uh, carrots and tuviazi are there. Yeah, and spices that I'm going to use are curry powder, paprika, Mm, soy sauce 
and this is red curry paste and this is turmeric i know you're wondering why it's like that it's only that when it settles the upper the inner side the upper part becomes that dark so this salt we have olive oil our giveri and yeah and tomato paste and some chili flakes oh so yeah, first forward you put sufuri on fire let it to heat then um put olive oil Yeah, another disclaimer, it doesn't have to be olive oil. You can use any cooking oil that you have. So when the oil is ready, we're going to go in with our onions. Again, your onions doesn't need to be golden brown. So long as they are sauteed, you're good to go. Just put it in my oregano and let it cook for quite some time. Before I go in with the rest of the spices. So guys, you remember we had put uh, ginger and garlic in our gibberry uh, while boiling. So I don't see the need of putting ginger and garlic again. Yeah. So I'm just putting turmeric and guys I have a, a video on how I preserve my turmeric for later years. So ensure you watch that video please. And yeah, continue subscribing to my YouTube channel. Let this YouTube channel grow please. So we're going in with our tomato paste and we're going to let this cook for a few seconds. Some red curry, at least uh, one tablespoon. Then stir, and then yes, our spices, um, garlic and paprika, curry powder, chili flakes, salt. And yeah, let's put some soy sauce in our pan and stir. Oh, it's time for spices. We yeah, let it cook for a few seconds, then go in with our green pepper. Stir, then go in with our tomatoes, and let it cook for at least one to three minutes. A few moments later. Yeah, this is after three minutes of letting it cook, and uh, yeah, it's ready. Just going in with our roux and our carrots, and stirring everything to mix them together. And we are going to go in with water. You remember this is a kikuyu cuisine, so water is something you give uh, respect to. Yeah, so we are going to put all of that. <laughs> I'm joking though. I think that's enough. So we are going to let this waros cook um, for some few minutes. Yeah, and then they are ready. So I think they are ready. Let's try. Yeah, they are ready. So we're just going to put our gibberry. So while doing this kind of recipe, I'm sure you've put a lot of water because the gibberry needs to be kind of saucy. Yeah, it needs to have a lot of zufu because that's what they eat. That's how they do cook. Yeah, so the warus were ready, just confirming for a second time. And yeah, our food is now ready. Now, I think it's now time to serve.
this is where coriander comes in and just stirring for the last time before we serve I know you're bothered where I'm using a cup to serve, but I don't want to go and look for a bigger spoon. I just want to use whatever is available. Yeah, if you've been watching my video, you'll notice that I always use whatever is there. Not because I don't have those right equipment to use, but it's because I don't want to wash a lot of utensils. Yeah, so okay, there is ready. People are about to take dinner. So just last mm, bit of this video as we finalize everything uh i hope you've noticed this is the most simplest uh recipe that you can do at home if you're unable to boil your gatheria at home you can always buy along the road and go cook it at home as you desire add your favorite um uh, spices and yeah as i told you this is an african kukuyu cuisine that I wanted to share with you guys. So it was the most simplest thing that I've ever done. It's not complicated. It didn't need a lot of effort. It didn't need a lot of um, garnishing and everything. It was just like a simple recipe. So yeah guys. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. And don't forget to like, share and comment please. Guys. So yeah, we've come to the end of this video. And thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe as usual. So bye-bye guys. See you in my next video.